And it's just that, that exclusivity that it's not, okay, it's not going to be practical for everyone, but that's the choice that you make. Personally, if it's got a Volkswagen badge on it, it should be on the floor. So there's no real option, to be honest. And I think if you're that way inclined, then it's the only real club. My name's Joe James and this is my Hydro T4 1997 19 TD. The plan was when this came up for sale, obviously everybody knows that it's Kyle's van, uh, or if they didn't they do now. Um, and it came up for sale and the original plan, sorry Kyle, was to strip the hydraulics off it and put them on my green van. Um, but then when I went to pick it up, all it needed was a drive shaft. Um, and the cup whacking back into the gearbox. So ended up fixing it on his drive and then driving it home and it broke down twice on the way home. <laughs> but um, when it was driving, it drove mint. It's been it's fully poly bushed. Um, it's been tubbed on the back. Um, so it drove that good that I was like, well, why waste all the time and effort taking it all off, putting it on my other van when I've got a perfectly good like set up and, and suspension set up anyway so um, we ended up sticking with it but yeah so we stuck with it uh, and basically decided to put my own stamp on it and well, you'll see with the paint and interior change up but I basically started from scratch again inside I ripped everything out um, and basically just read every, redid everything other than the floor and the floor stayed um, we've had a decorate um, painted it all, um, made the chandelier work, um, wired that up, put some electrics in so it's usable as, a, as an actual camper rather than just the shows and stuff. Um, added an oven, which you'll see. Um, got the upholstery done, redid all the bed and framework in 18mm marine ply, everything really. So although it's the same sort of theme, it's actually brand new. Uh, it's on uh, Raven hydraulics, double notched up front, engine lift, subframe mods, tubs on the rear, uh, and the rams are set vertical with turrets, so it's better ride on the rear. The wheels are 17 inch banded uh, Vitos by Damien Force. I've always really liked the, the full on antique um, style, anyway, my house is like that. Um, we've got all that old paintings and, and taxidermy. So when I think you and you and Kyle built it originally, I looked at it and I was like, "That's fucking proper cool, really nice." But there's a there's a guy um, I'd, whose beetle I'd seen years ago, uh, Madame Zola beetle. If you haven't seen it, Google it. It's fucking next level. It looks like it's been sat for 40 years in a barn all the paint's really nicely distressed and there's a really fine line between like really nice patina and obvious obviously done you know faux tina um, and this guy Andy Feather or uh, Bad Penny Inc Incorporated it looks these, these top notches work mint um, so yeah we ended up going to him with, with, the, with the idea uh, and it, yeah, it was right up his street, so we had it for two months and it came back looking about 40 years older, what's meant. <laughs> because obviously it's a work in progress, there's a lot of little bits to tidy up, things that I want to do. The front bench seat is going, but being replaced with something similar but with a different design. it's the only real club that's part of it but the main thing for me is obviously there's the Facebook side of things and everyone has a laugh and you know takes the piss out of people that deserve it but it's more that once you actually get in you realize that it's not it's one of the very last proper clubs where people well if you you know you only get out what you put in but 
if you actually help other people and share your knowledge, then they're more than happy to help you back. And I've had loads of help from Dennis. Um, I spoke to Jack like numerous times. Um, yourself, like about electrics and, and woodworking and stuff, and it's actually a really decent club to be to be part of. Um, for, massive thanks to Andy Feather for painting it. Um, Damien Force, as always, for his wheels. Um, never had a set leak, the fucking mint. Uh, and massive thanks to Lowdown as well for, for letting me have the logo on the side um, and, and sort of being full force behind that. Uh, and of course, Stacey as well, because without her, I wouldn't be able to have the van in the first place. Um, she lent me the money to buy it. So, uh, until the green one sold, so. Thanks very much.